Hello, you're watching London TV with me, Leslie Collier. Coming up next is an annual exhibition that is as synonymous with summer in London as sticky tits on the tube. Stay tuned. Last year, the summer exhibition at the Royal Academy hit the headlines when an empty plinth was accepted into the exhibition. The fact is that when the piece was submitted, it came complete with a sculpture which fell off its perch in transit and the empty plinth was mistakenly judged as an entry. So is art in what the viewer sees or what the artist intends? Judge for yourself at the summer exhibition. <laughs> Well, the summer exhibition has been running since the Academy was founded 239 years ago. It was founded to sh in order to show a slice of contemporary art. And it's continued like that ever since. And it's act actually an open submission exhibition. So um, this year we had 12,000 paintings, prints and sculptures come in, which are judged by the summer exhibition committee. So it's, it's, it's a real mixture of the professional and the emerging artist. One of the highlights of the exhibition is the Hockney, which I'm standing in front of. It's the largest painting that we've ever shown at the Academy. It's certainly the largest painting that David's ever done, and he did it specifically for this space. When people come into the courtyard of the Academy, they will be greeted by three huge dinosaurs by Jake and Dinos Chapman. These are, these are new works by Jake and Dinos, and it's the first outdoor sculpture that they've ever done. I think if anyone's interested in contemporary art, it's a great place to come because it's very much a slice of contemporary art today. And it's, it's here in this, these beautiful galleries, which are quite something. And um, it's an opportunity to see over a thousand works in one visit. The Summer Exhibition is on at the Royal Academy of Arts now until the 19th of August. It's open from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. with a late opening until 10 p.m. on Fridays. Entry costs £7, but concessions are available. The nearest tube is Green Park. A perfect way to spend a summer's day in London, whatever the weather. For more info on what's going on in London right now, keep watching London TV. I'll see you soon.